Of all the lane roles in League of Legends, I think it's pretty hard to argue that Top has the largest pool of characters begging to be slotted into a fighting game. From the previously spoken to punch and grab types to the already confirmed pull you in and hack you down types, with many borderline guaranteed fighters still yet to be seen. But today I wanted to talk about someone with a bit more finesse. That someone, of course, being Fiora, the Grand Duelist. Fiora's moveset in League brings a more cunning and skill-centric styling to a lane typically dominated by brutality and raw strength. From her passive that emphasizes footing and capitalizes on openings, to her parry that flips her opponent's aggression back to them, she has many ways to keep her victims on their toes, negate their retaliation attempts, and take advantage of her directional opening opportunities. All of which, to me, sound very much at home for a 2D fighting game. So let's take a few minutes to break down these abilities and explain why I think she would absolutely deserve a spot for the Riot fighting game roster. First we have Fiora's passive, Duelist's Dance. Fiora challenges nearby enemy champions to dodge her and then calls out a direction from which she'll try to strike them. If she can complete her challenge, she receives a small bonus and calls out a new direction. This ability allows Fiora to constantly be looking for the next directional opening to reward good footwork and grant additional damage. My pitch here is to capitalize on the idea of this passive targeting different directions around the opponent, albeit in a slightly different execution. Rather than passively triggering, I say we convert Duelist's stance into a stance move that has various directional follow-ups to mix up the opponent's defense, having a low, mid, and overhead option to keep the opponent guessing, and still encapsulating the core idea of Duelist's stance directional assault. Next up for Fiora's Q, we have Lunge. Fiora, well, lunges in a direction and stabs a nearby enemy, dealing physical damage and applying on-hit effects. As it sounds, this one is her gap closer in leak, to get in close and start slashing away, or has defensive applications to dodge a quick skill shot when needed. For Project L, I think it carries over quite nicely. As shown off here from Catalina and Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, we can add the very same dash forward stab and add the ability to hold down the button to charge the move, increasing the distance traveled, and adding a wall bounce on impact. Moving on to Fiora's W, we have Riposte. Fiora parries all incoming damage and disables for a short time, then counterattacks in a forward direction. This move does a phenomenal job reversing an attack, negating its damage, then snapping back with Fiora's follow-up punishment. And again, this one carries over quite well. Parries are common in fighting games, and they are usually a mechanic that allow you to negate an incoming attack, then near instantly follow up with your own counter-attack response. Punishing overly predictable opponents, and bringing some major hype along the way. Coming up next, we have Fiora's E, Blade Work. Fiora has increased attack speed for the next two attacks. The first attack slows the target, and the second attack will critically strike. Nothing too crazy for this one, as it's really just buffing Fiora's basic attacks. For the Project Dow counterpart, I propose that we just convert this over to a Rekka style ability that allows you to hit confirm into a second and third hit if timed correctly. As previously discussed with my set pitch, this would reward execution and visually confirming you connected with the first hit, while punishing you on block if chained too hastily without the confirmation. Lastly, and perhaps where I get a bit controversial, we have Fiora's ultimate ability, Grand Challenge. Fiora reveals all four vitals on an enemy champion and gains movement speed while near them. If Fiora hits all four vitals or the target dies after she has hit at least one of them, Fiora and her allies in the area are healed over the next few seconds. In League, I think this ult works great to further encourage the footwork and precision at the core of Fiora's style and theme. However, I don't think this is what I'm looking for in a fighting game super. So, my pitch here would actually be to scrap it entirely and replace it with two other super alternatives. First, we add a super version of Fiora's parry to add a massive damage payoff to a hard read and of course her graceful duelist style. And for her second ultimate, we party like it's 2012 and bring back her original high damaging dash ultimate, Blade Waltz. To me, the parry feels very much at home for Fiora being the skillful dueling fencer that she is, while Blade Waltz would give her the heavy damaging super that she'll likely need to keep up with what the other champions in the roster will have. But hey, that's just what I would pitch if I had the chance to. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought I got right, and what other ideas you might have for Fiora in Riot's fighting game. Thank you all so much as always for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.